Hi, welcome Taylor Creek. This art lesson is called Square One Art. We're making art that is square. A square means just as wide as it is tall. Now what this is, is it's a fundraiser, but it's optional. Every student that participates and turns in art will get a free set of stickers. You'll get a sheet of stickers free of charge for every student who either uploads your own artwork from home or turns in artwork to me to be shipped off by October 2nd. The art should be bright and colorful and of obviously age appropriate. Don't forget your student's name. Look how cute this composition is. This is not one of our students, but this is a sample made by somebody named Blakely. But look at the bright colors. Now for best results, I recommend using a Sharpie or crayons to go over the lines that you like after you lightly sketch. We've done this ice cream cone in the past, and so most of the students know how to draw that. For kindergarten and pre-K, I have been tracing their hands, obviously sanitizing between each student, and then they're gonna turn in their hands into all sorts of things and paint them with watercolors in my home learners. Now, if you're a home learner that doesn't have access to paints, let me know. I got some watercolors donated and I can make sure your student can get a set of watercolors. If you're a paper packet home learners, these special pieces of paper with the instructions will be in the pickup bucket by next Tuesday. And so you've got two weeks to finish it or actually almost three weeks to finish it and turn it in. Use bright colors. Black should only be used sparingly. Use very bright colors, even for nighttime sky. This is a half moon and a half sun. And look how bright it is. But they use blues and purples instead of blacks. You can order all sorts of things. Here's a cute pillowcase with a puppy dog. You can go to squareoneart.com for ideas. It'll be in the email. That's S Q. U-A-R-E, the number one, A-R-T, squareoneart.com for all sorts of examples and ideas. But we want your students to be creative and then get some free stickers. And if you choose by, I forget the deadline, but there will be a customized catalog and instructions on how to order your students' artwork. Now the coffee mugs are the biggest sellers. You can go online, you could do a self-portrait, you could do your say something, you can order Christmas ornaments, but you see how small that is? That means your designs need to be large. You don't wanna do a teeny little design, fill the page. There's a cute cat, love that. Here is a popular owl, that's an awesome design. Suns are always fun. Here's one done with warm colors versus cool colors. There's even framed artwork, love the boats. Here's another warm versus cool, daytime, nighttime sun. So we hope you will create, and if your student turns in artwork or uploads artwork within the deadline, watch for the emails, you'll get a sheet of free stickers. Everybody gets the stickers, and ordering is completely optional. So remember, Square one art means square, same distance width as it is tall, and use bright colors. If you use watercolor markers, they will blend and bleed with water. So keep that in mind. But if you use just markers, this composition was done with just markers, and this side was done with crayons. So you can see that you don't have to have paints to make a really cute work of art. Don't forget your student's name though, and the year, because we'll never forget 2020. Thank you students.